because this shit's melting. I went to Cold Stone today and this is my abomination. It's falling apart. This is the birthday cake remix, bitch. I gotta like start eating right now. Um, I was just feeling Cold Stone. Here's my first bite. Right away, we're getting right into it. God, that's so freaking good. Anyways, I just wanted some Cold Stone. And I wanted, I always get the birthday cake remix because if you haven't tried the birthday cake remix, it is literally like getting just a big hug from like John Goodman. <laughs> but I'll tell you a story about this. Here, let me get a picture first. I don't know how I'm going to do this without it looking like shit. Eh. Well, poop, I want it. Okay, I'm, I have to eat a little bit of it before I can even take a picture. So, here's a little story of how Cold Stone Birthday Cake Remix made me feel better one time. So, when I was like 15, hold on. My mom made an appointment for me to get on birth control. And I was like, all right. So I went to Planned Parenthood. With my friends, two of my friends came with me. And I freaking skipped in there like an innocent child just thinking like oh you go here and you say i want birth control and they give you birth control no they had me get a pap smear i didn't know this i didn't even know what the fuck that was they didn't even tell me what they were going to do. People are jogging behind me and shit. I can't concentrate. Anyways, I go in there and they bring me back to the room and they have me put a gown on and shit. Like, take all my clothes off. And I was like, all right, shit's getting kind of weird. And then, they have me, they flip the stirrups up. And they're like, all right. Put your feet up on the stirrups and scooch your puss hole and your ass just right next to my face. That's exactly what the doctor said. And I was like, okay, I don't know what's happening. And then, if you're not familiar with what a fucking pap smear is, they shoved... I gotta use both hands for this. I really hope these people aren't watching me do this right now. It's a little... Not a little. It's a big tool, metal... They shove into you and they open up. They open you right up. And then while you're open, they swab your cervix with like, it's almost like a, you know when you clean your toilet? It's like a toilet bowl brush, hard. Scrubbing you in there, getting all the cells and shit. I was like, wah! Not knowing this was gonna happen. And then after they mashed my tits, just to see if there were lumps and whatever, but really mashing them. So anyways, I left Planned Parenthood like um, someone just took all the innocence that I had left. And I came out a different human. And my friends were in the waiting room. And if you could have seen my face, like... You know the episode of The Office where Michael accidentally goes into Pam's delivery room like too early and she's still giving birth and he walks out and he's just like, oh, like, oh my God, 
That's exactly what my face looked like when I left Planned Parenthood. And I was like, bitch, I need fucking cold, like something. And I was like, I need Cold Stone birthday cake remix. I need like a birthday cake right now. And then I got it and it made me feel a lot better. But anyways, um, Cold Stone, if you're listening, sponsor me. But I just gotta tell you, Cold Stone always makes me feel better. And I just need a little, little treat today because it's hot as fuck too. But, okay, I'm finally kind of getting the top part off to where I could take a picture, I think. Oh, I just need a moment to enjoy this, all right? Just, shh, just, shh, shh, shh. Mm. I don't know if you can hear the crunchies, but I love the crunchy sprinkles in there. It's texture wise, this is fantastic. Taste wise, freaking fantastic. It is so good. Next time you go to Cold Stone, can you pinky promise me you will try the birthday cake remix if you haven't? Mm. It made me feel better after getting a pap smear. Okay. That should tell you how good it is. Look at the, there's like chunks of brownie. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Okay. It's gonna be picture time. So, today's agenda, besides eating Cold Stone, um, I'm going to talk about the time I was abducted by aliens, because there's like aliens now, I guess, and um, we're going to do some Mad Libs, <laughs> oh yeah, I made a look at what I wrote down, um, I'm going to talk about Post Malone's new album and I saw the movie Talk To Me <clears throat> excuse me Talk To Me and I'll talk about that mm. okay I think it's time for a picture now god this is like just destroyed hold on Why? Okay. We're finally getting there. We're getting somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Picture time, bitch. All right. Yeah, did I mention there's SpongeBob? I think this is gonna be really funny. I'm one of those people, excuse me, that just loves Mad Libs. If there's a party, can we all do Mad Libs, please? I like to know what words you think of. But, oh, <coughs> excuse me. So there's aliens and shit and nobody cares. Um, <laughs> but it really unlocked the, like, I kind of forget that I think I was abducted by aliens. I don't know how to describe this other than maybe it was just like a weird dream. But the time I got abducted by aliens. So I was like five or six. And... I was in bed and I went to bed 
and I woke up in like a hospital room on a metal table. It was freezing cold. And there were these like human-like creatures around me doing like experiments and shit and like testing on me. And they took a really long needle like this this freaking big or something and they stuck it through one of my hips and it came out the other and when I it like they pulled it out and I like came to in bed and I had excruciating pain where the needle went in and went out but there were no marks it sounds really lame now that I'm saying it out loud, but I swear, it, how, what, what was that? What was that? How, what, was that just a weird dream and I just randomly had pain? I think it was aliens. And like, if you know me, it kind of makes sense that I was abducted by aliens. So anyways, I'm not afraid of these aliens. I, I, okay. I kind of want to like hook up with an alien. I'm just saying. Okay. And I think everyone's thinking it, but no one wants to say it. I want to know what alien dick looks like. Okay. Anyways. Um, yeah. Would you sleep with an alien? Hmm. Don't lie to me. I think you would. What are like alien STIs like? And like, what are their reproductive organs look like? What if they have like huge, huge dicks? I'm just saying. This is delicious. I'm gonna eat this before I get through my talking. This like never happens. Oh my God, I gotta just get going. Okay. So Jordan and I saw Talk To Me, the new A24 film. And there was so much hype around it. Everyone's been freaking out about it. Like, blah, blah, blah we gotta go see it. Like whatever. I was one of those people cause it came up on my FYP all the time. And everyone said it was gonna be like the new Hereditary. And I was like, bitch, all right. like. I, I remember when I saw Hereditary in theaters, and to this day, I'm still moved by that whole performance. That whole fucking movie is just, like, it's scary, and it's fucked up, and it's emotional, and it's just, what the fuck? But anyways, we go see Talk To Me, and <clears throat> first of all, it was like $30 for both of us to go see it, which I was like, what? It's fucking expensive. Um... All I'm going to say, I'm not going to spoil anything. It's not that good. And I hate to say that. There are, it's not scary. It's not scary at all, in my opinion. Like, there were a couple jump scares. But if anything, it's more disturbing than scary. Like, there's some pretty disturbing parts and if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It has something to do with an eyeball. That took me out. I was like, nope, nope. Um, but it's, I don't know, it wasn't scary. It wasn't, it, the, I, I have a lot of questions too. But I will say the ending was kind of dope. But I kind of knew it was coming. But, so overall, I would give it like, like a two or three out of five stars. 2.5 stars out of five stars. Talk to me. Don't come for me, okay? I know there's a lot of like A24 fanatics out there, but <clears throat> don't waste your money. I'm sorry. I still haven't seen... I still can't remember if it's Oppenheimer or Oppenheimer, how you pronounce it. 
and the Barbie movie. Cold Stone is doing a Barbie movie like special. I thought about getting that, but I was like, birthday cake remix, pap smear, hug from John Goodman. So, but, um, why is my phone being dumb? Can you see me? Okay. Post Malone's new album came out and so it's Post Malone so I'm still gonna support it and there are some songs that I love but it's definitely not his normal style of music it's more like I mean it's still really like depressing if you really listen to it like all of his albums are super depressing and that's why I like it but it's like slow depressing not like poppy fun rap depressing you know there's a big difference. There's a huge difference. But he looks great. He looks great. He's doing stuff, you know? So anyways, I'm going to finish this. I really don't know if you can see me because I feel like my phone, the phone lighting is all fucked up. Um, I tested out Shrek um, makeup today because we're going to the Shrek rave on Friday. And then I wore alien earrings and an alien shirt because I was going to talk about aliens. I feel like I did major clickbait on this. I'm sorry if you clicked on this to um, hear about the time I was abducted by aliens and it wasn't really that <laughs> big of a story. But I feel like my pap smear story was more interesting than getting abducted by aliens, but whatever. Mm. Let's get going on the Mad Libs while I finish this. Oh! Okay. First, I gotta pick one. So, Spongebob! I might just flip to, no. Okay, I found one. Let me take a bite. Okay. I need a noun. Um, dildo. Silly word. I could do dildo again. What's a silly word? Maybe I'll just do like scream, screaming. Like whenever I think of silly words, I'm just like. Bah! So I'm gonna do screams. Exclamation. I'm just gonna do fuck. A verb. Uh, shat. Or shit. Cause it doesn't say past tense. Can you see me? I'll do shit. Type of food. I'm gonna do cold stone ice cream that makes you feel better after Getting your puss hole stretched, AKA pap smear. Okay, and then another exclamation. Uh, what 
What's an exclamation that I do a lot? I honestly do like, holy shit! Like all the time. So we'll do that. Holy shit. Same type of food. I gotta write all that shit out again. I'm just gonna put an arrow. And then an adjective. I'm gonna do fucked up. Verb ending in ing. Mm, queefing. Verb ending in s. I need a bite of my ice cream. Sad. How about smacks? Adjective. Disgusting. Person in room. Should I do me? Should I do you? Should I do Jesus? Or the devil? Is anyone else in here? An alien. Should I do alien? The alien watching me. No, I'll do you, the YouTube watcher. Is that, yeah, YouTube watcher. This is a nice pen, by the way. This is a really nice pen, weirdly enough. Adjective. Um... um Poopy. <sighs> Type of building. Like. All I can think of is like hospital. Can this focus on me? Is it too hot? Boo. There we go. Okay. Type of building. I'm gonna porta potty. Is that a building? I'm gonna just do porta potty. Okay. Noun. Um. Hairball. Another noun. Um. Honestly, piss jug is the only thing that's coming to my mind. So we're gonna write that. All right, little Mad Lib. Oh, I feel like I'm like presenting in front of the class or something. I'm a little nervous. Okay. <clears throat> this one is called, no, this is Patrick. So SpongeBob, ready for your first day at the crusty dildo? Patrick. Hey, yeah! Captain. SpongeBob. Okay, when I say fuck, you shit the patty to the customer. Patrick. Chomp. Oops, I ate the cold stone ice cream that makes you feel better after getting your puss hole stretched, aka pap smear. Can I try again? SpongeBob. Sure, buddy. Holy shit! Patrick. Chomp. Oh no, I ate that cold stone ice cream that makes you feel better after getting your puss hole stretched, aka pap smear too. SpongeBob, let's try something a little more fucked up. How about queefing the phone? When the phone smacks, you say, hello, this is the disgusting crab. Patrick, no, this is YouTube watcher. SpongeBob, I'm not a poopy crab. SpongeBob, uh, Patrick, that's the name of the porta potty. Patrick, oh, fish hairball. I'm not good at anything. SpongeBob, don't give up. We'll find something you can do, even if it takes all piss jug long. Mm. 
You know, sometimes they just don't work out. Some Mad Libs make me fucking cry. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna eat a little more, we'll do one more and then we'll shut up and then we'll go. We'll go away. I got a little bit left. You know, I did have another topic on my list that I could talk about while I eat, but it ha it's completely unrelated to anything today. But I just feel like it's kind of a funny story. So I'll just tell it real quick as I eat. One time I got a used computer and I got it all set up and there's a person right there. I got it all set up and um, I was just like messing around with it and there was a file in there and I clicked on it and just take a guess at what you think it was. I don't think you'll ever guess in a million years. And I was shocked and I laughed hysterically to like for years about it. Okay. All your guesses are in. I clicked on it and it was pirate porn. Like pirates of the Caribbean, but the porn version of it. Like an hour and a half long, nice production porn. So I'm just sitting there and I click and then it's fucking Captain Jack Sparrow fucking slapping balls on like a poop deck swabber's ass or so. I don't know. It was pirate porn. No idea what the fuck. And then I just kept it on the computer. I was like, well, it's already here. I watched the whole thing because I was like, this is like Pirates of the Caribbean except porn and it was weird. It was weird, but cool. And then there's like this one porn star that's in it that is like a big time porn star. He has like really long blonde hair. I don't know. You can just Google it. Just Google pirate porn. It'll be the first thing that comes up. I think it's just called pirates. So anyways. Mm. Okay. I got like one bite left. Last bite. Mm. Hell yeah. Got my iCarly napkins. Okay, I wonder if I like put this. Oh, is that better? Hey. Nope, that's just dumb. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought I would get the sun out of here a little bit, but whatever. Kind of works. This won't do anything. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna do one more Mad Lib, and then I'm gonna go. I got stuff to do. Animal. Hmm. Is an alien an animal? Humans are animals. I'm just gonna do horse. We're gonna do horse. Adjective. Stinky. Adverb. Stupidly. Noun. Mm. I'm gonna do... Honestly, butthole. Is the only thing that comes to mind right now, butthole. Type of food. Hmm. 
I kind of want to do the cold stone pap smear thing again, but I won't. Mm. I'm going to put uh, that homophobic Chick-fil-A. Okay. Uh, verb ending in ing. Squatting. Silly word. Oh! My pen just broke! What the fuck? <laughs> I think that was an alien that was like, Shut up, bitch! Quit doing fucking Mad Libs. How did... Wait, I'm like so confused at how this even broke. Like what? What in the fuck? Okay, well I guess I'll just use this piece that came out. I did get this pen from, excuse me, a pinata. So maybe it got like smashed a little bit. Fine, I guess I'll use this piece of freaking crap. Okay, silly word. I'm just gonna say piece of freaking crap piece of frickin crap. A noun. How about mm, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna do pinata. Noun. Diaper. Article of clothing. Jock strap. Verb. Screaming to the night sky about the time I got my puss hole stretched aka pap smear okay number 42069 42069 animal mm. hmm an ant those little stupid little ants Oh no, I just realized this napkin is like up here. Oh, okay, I got it. A noun. I kind of just, chungus. I'm just gonna do chungus. Another noun. Mm, used tampon. An adjective. Um. Did I do hairy? Hairy. Okay, last adjective, or last Mad Lib, and I'll get out of here. Okay, here we go. This one is called, What Does Gary Do All Day? I'll get really, can you see me? I keep saying that, I'm sorry. Okay. What does Gary do all day? Meow. That's hello in horse talk. Let's find out what SpongeBob's stinky pet Gary does when he's hef left home alone. 7.30 a.m. The snail appears to be snoring, quite stupidly. Is that drool on SpongeBob's butthole? <laughs> 10 a.m. Time for breakfast. Gary managed to ditch his, okay, let me start over. Gary managed to ditch his canned homophobic Chick-fil-A for SpongeBob's leftovers. 12 p.m. Gary is spotted squatting on the phone. Can we get someone to translate meow, piece of freaking crap, meow? <laughs> 3 p.m. Is that the pinata bell? Hey, where did that disco diaper come from? Is Gary wearing a jock strap and a tie? Time for a party! Hell yeah! 5 p.m. 
the post party screaming to the night sky about the time I got a, my puss hole stretched aka pap smear up has started. Spongebob comes home in only 4 20, 69 minutes. Don't forget that ant swinging from the ceiling chungus. 6 p.m. Spongebob's home. Gary is waiting for him by the used tampon like nothing ever happened. You did it, Gary. Your secret is hairy with us. That was good. That was a good one. Anyways, let me know if you like Mad Libs. I'll do Mad Libs all day for you. I freaking love Mad Libs. But I'm going to go. Yeah. I love you. Okay, bye.